Here we are at the midpoint of week nine. I've, I've been praying much for you and for me both that as we come closer to the end of this spiritual adventure, that our experience of the closeness of Jesus will be heightened in every way, that you and I might feel what Paul calls the Holy Spirit bearing witness with our spirits, that we are the children of God. Let's keep going in Luke 6, verses 43 to 45. Jesus says this, No good tree bears bad fruit, nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit, for each tree is known by its fruit. Figs are not gathered from thorns, nor are grapes picked from bramble bushes. The good person out of the good treasure of the heart produces good, and the evil person out of evil treasure produces evil. For it is out of the abundance of the heart that the mouth speaks. We had a wonderful church secretary at the Crossville Church called Rhonda. She was a wonderful, good Baptist woman. She said God had sent her as a missionary to the Methodist Church. She worked very hard and much like our Patsy here at Murfreesboro, kept me very focused and tightly scheduled so I would stay out of trouble. I love to tease her though about, about getting fired. I'd ask her to order a little package uh, of those pink slips, uh, termination notices. And when they'd come in, she'd ask where to put them. And I would always say, well, the one on top is for you for sending me to four nursing homes last week or whatever had happened. She'd say, Luke 6.45, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Be careful. <laughs> I asked her once why she quoted that all the time, and she laughed and then got real serious and said, I have learned uh, to pay attention to what people say when their guard is down and when nobody else is around. We all need to pay attention to where our words and our thoughts go in those moments. Jesus was right. We discover just how much work Jesus is trying to do within us, helping us to bear good fruit at all times, not just when people are watching. I've thought a lot about that, and I have also begun to pay attention, not so much to what other people say, but to where my mind and mouth go when my guard is down. It's a little bit like looking in the mirror. You don't always see what you'd like to see, Thank God that Jesus is transforming us into good trees, always bearing good fruit. Let's pray together. O oh God of life and love, today I choose to follow your son Jesus. Inspire me to faithful action, intention, reflection, and a deeper awareness by your Holy Spirit which lives within me. Help me to follow Jesus in all his steps of grace, goodness, and love which expects nothing in return. Today, I offer you all that I am and hope to be, trusting you to believe the best about me until it becomes true. Help me to do the same with all those whom I encounter this day. In the name of Jesus, amen.